to the side of the table, and at that point, within two or three seconds, the, the shooting began. Um, and I saw, I looked up just as he was shooting her in the head. And so when you heard the gunfire and you saw what happened, what did you do? Uh, I mean, for the briefest instant, I, I, it was sort of unreal. It didn't look like it was happening. I, I, I wanted to make sure that it was not some sort of stunt. Um, but I saw people just going down. He was shooting at point blank in a very constricted area. Uh, and people were going down. And I ducked behind a, a fairly large concrete post that was there. And so you at some point, I, I, think, I think I heard you say at one point, did you play dead? Did you pretend like you I, were dead? I did. He continued to shoot, and he was just shooting just indiscriminately uh, at, at people close by. I, I, as he continued to shoot, I sensed that he was moving around uh, where he could see me, so I laid down on the ground and uh, acted as though I'd been shot so I wouldn't be a target. And so what happened to the shooter? Um, I, the shooting stopped and there was, uh, you know, so many people down and people were rushing to give them aid. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know if the shooter had got, gotten away. Uh, at some point, and after I checked some of the people, at some point I became aware that uh, he was being held down on the ground by a, a couple guys and so I joined in to uh, help hold him down. Did you think twice about that? I mean, this is a guy that you had just saw shoot someone in the head. No, I saw that his gun was had been taken away from him, and apparently he was uh, reloading another magazine. And a woman had uh, had the magazine and, and the gun separately, and she was sort of berating him, like, how could you be so full of hate? How could you do this kind of thing? Hmm. He didn't say anything. And how many people were in the area? Because quite a few people got shot. Quite a few people got shot, um, you know, not that many people, 20 to 25 people were in that area and 18 of them got shot. So I feel very fortunate that, that I was not. I was one of the few who actually was not. How shaken are you by this? You know, it's, it's gradually sinking in. Um, I think it's one of those kind of things that uh, yesterday there was, you know, adrenaline and I think the, the distraction of the press uh, contacts that I had. Uh, it's really settling in when I, when I become quiet or when I was sleeping last night. It's, it's pretty shaking to see people killed in, in front of your eyes. I imagine you've never seen anything like it, nor did you ever expect to see something like this. No, and I, I, had, I did work in an emergency room for 18 years, so I'm, I'm used to it on that end, but it's, it's quite different when it happens this way. I was going to say, how does this, obviously you see horrible things in an emergency room, but how does this compare? Uh, well, you know, as being one of the, one of the targets, um, it, it, it definitely um, is much more frightening. Although I wasn't frightened at the time, it was only more afterwards that I was, I was shaken by it.